Oh, there's been much since she... I had to do some window finagling to make sure that the title screen would show two and... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. It just took a second to pop up. There we go. Cool. Just had to... Oh! Oh! I had to set up the title screen separately because it's actually a separate EXE from Visual Sonic Generations. I don't know if it's actually a different EXE from Shadow Generations, but explained the silliness last time, so I'll figure it all out. Cool. Let's get right into it. More original Sonic Generations. And the EXE has changed now. I... Oh? Huh? There, it's back. Okay. Had to turn from Sonic and Shadow Generations into Sonic Generations. Yeah. Okay. It's not a long game. Hello! It's Sonic done. Again. Also, I found out the way you get the home and attack for Classic Sonic is not story progress at all. It's... Getting all the red star rings in this stage, which is, well, the last stage before the final boss anyway. Well, before the penultimate boss and then the final boss. It's the last real stage in the game. Okay, whatever. Let's do Crisis City. This one is from... Actually, can I even do the others right now? It's from... Yeah, I, you have to do them in order. Okay. It's from Sonic 06, actually. Oh my goodness, good to see you again. We're doing Sonic. Hi, you. You will get to see me fall down bottomless pits. How have you been? Now, this is Crisis City from Sonic 06. It's honestly kind of cool how they don't show the name the first time through. Of course, we know, but, well, I know. But, I'm here to inform you. I'm here to... Provide education to the good people of the world. But yeah, it's good to have you back. I oh my goodness. I didn't know that Classic Sonic would sound fire like that. It is honestly really funny to see Classic Sonic attacking things that aren't robots. Okay. Let's see if we can get the S rank this time. As long as I don't die. Honestly, it's really generous with timing. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to die if you try to go really fast without knowing what you're doing. You know, if you know what you're doing, you can do it pretty well. I just wasn't using fast enough. The other thing is that it's been a while since I've played a real, real platformer. Especially a real, real platformer where... Oops! Okay. Holding down jump makes you jump higher. It's been a while since I've played a game where that's how jumping works. You, what I really need to play is I need to play the Kirby game that came out a couple years ago again on stream. Because that game was amazing. I miss that game. Yeah. Tweet it or yeet it? That's my question. There we go, we went for the spin yes jump. Oh, Amazing Mirror? That one's great. The one that's kind of Metroidvania? Okay. You've got me talking about Kirby. You got me talking about Kirby. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror for GBA is the four-player multiplayer one. I... Interesting idea on that is it's not that long. And there are ways to get up to four-player multiplayer if, with the right emulator or with Switch Online. So I feel like getting people involved with that, maybe even viewers, could be fun. But what I will say is that something I thought about a lot when I played Forgotten Land, which is one that adds in... Oh. It adds in the ability to upgrade your abilities. All I could think of was just, that would be a phenomenal... Yeah, I need to play that one again, honestly. It'd be a phenomenal addition to a Metroidvania Kirby, those ability upgrades. Because like I said, with Forgotten Land, they added the ability to make your abilities stronger once you'd reach certain points in the game. So you could turn fire into Volcano Fire and then Dragon Fire, for example. And then Sword and Hammer, because they're popular, had three upgrades instead of just two. It was really, really cool. But... So the monsters that are all there are monsters connected to... An entity in Sonic 06 named, known as Iblis, or I guess more correctly pronounced Iblis. Because it's actually Arabic and... See? It's easy to die. But Iblis is... And this is what I learned from college. Is basically the Islamic version of Satan. And it's very, very interesting... 
the Islamic take on the story of Satan, or of course, Iblis. It is just really, really funny that they named one of the villains in Sonic 06 after literally Islamic Satan, especially since it was tied basically the minion of Nephiles, who is, among other things, literally just an evil looking Shadow the Hedgehog. But the Islamic story of Iblis or Satan is interesting because, and it's a bit similar to, I believe, what became the story in Milton's Paradise Lost. And I'm sure that people smarter than me have opinions about whether Milton took the idea from Quranic accounts of Iblis, and somehow that didn't kill me. But effectively, the reason that the devil became a bad guy was because God asked him to bow to mankind. And Iblis, or Islamic Satan, was so pious that he refused to bow to anyone other than God, even on God's direct orders. And as a result, that's what turned him into an enemy of mankind and of God. It's a very, very interesting story. But for, for whatever reason, they named a villain in... Oh, we got a Red Star Ring. No, we got a Chow. We missed a Red Star Ring, but got a Chow. Work has got me kind of messed up today. But they named a villain in Sonic 06 after Islamic Satan for some reason. It's interesting. What is more interesting is... What was? The Faller? Okay, so we avoided the winds. But in the original context of Sonic 06, this area is basically the bad future of the game. Silver the Hedgehog is... Wait, what? Oh! They took the sign away! They took the sign away! I forgot about that, that's crazy. Okay, and now we're in a tornado. Wait. Huh? That didn't kill me, did it? Did that kill me? Or are we just in the tornado now? I am confused and worried. But effectively, Silver the Hedgehog in Sonic 06, he was introduced in Sonic 06, his entire backstory was, this is basically a city in the future where it was destroyed by Iblis, or I guess, again, Iblis. And Sonic 06 literally retcons itself at, at its own end, which is really, really funny. Yeah, because this is the updated version, the remaster, which is nice. Okay, I guess we gotta wait for the tornado to go away. I guess? I... I genuinely wonder... Do I take the spring? I guess I take that spring. That was honestly kind of confusing. And I, that did not kill me. That's good. The platforms themselves are moving around, which is annoying. But basically, the reason everything's on fire is because Iblis destroyed the future. And Mephilus, who is again, basically personified darkness and also... A Shadow the Hedgehog doppelganger for some reason convinces Silver the Hedgehog to travel back in time and kill Sonic, convincing him that Sonic is basically the source of Iblis and the reason the future is so messed up, which is of course not true because the bad guy is saying it. But what's very interesting is that, again, at the end of Sonic 06, the entire events of the game get retconned. So Mephilus and Iblis literally don't even exist anymore. But also, somehow, it can still show up in Sonic Generations for who knows how. And there we go, that's the end of the stage. But what's even more interesting is that they didn't discard Silver as a character after Sonic 06. They brought him back. For various reasons, because he was cool enough, I guess. Despite his entire character basically being, okay, what about Sonic and Shadow, except he isn't fast, he sounds like a nerd, and he uses psychic powers. But he's cool in his own funny little way. But... I can't believe I got three red star rings. I stumbled into them this time. Though to be fair, this... This stage did not have as many high roads. There's a lot more of a straight shot. Over 20. Right, 21, 22. Oh, right. We're gonna say Blaze from this one. Blaze is interesting because she originated from a Sonic game on the DS, actually. Yeah, basically, the lore is really inconsistent on whether... Oh, stop move. Whether Sonic actually remembers the events of Sonic 06 or not. But either way, Mephilus and Iblis don't exist anymore. So, to make Silver's backstory make sense, he still comes from the future, and the future is still destroyed, but not by Iblis, but by Ifrit, which is another sort of monster from Islamic folklore, and is literally just Iblis with the name that the serial numbers followed off because Iblis doesn't exist anymore, but they needed something that was similar enough, which is honestly really funny. Okay, I 
Wait, what? Why could I go to the left? Modern Sonic is a lot of fun, but he controls like a sports car, and that isn't always a good thing. Yes. Got the blast off. I... Yes, yeah, see, if I... If I don't jump early enough, I can't even homing attack them. Yeah, but Sonic is very plainly a speedrunner's game. The Shadow Generations portion of the game is a lot more like Sonic Frontiers, which is a game I have, but have not gotten to play yet. Which is actually just an open world game. But also you go really fast, but and then you die. What is really funny about it, frankly, is... In Sonic Frontiers, you can literally just change your speed. You can toggle how fast your max speed is, because obviously, there is a point where it becomes too fast. So they just say, you know, if you don't want to go too fast, you don't have to go too fast. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting to see what I like, because I remember hearing when the game came out, you know, a game I... Oh, come on. A game I still have not gotten a real chance to play yet. Well, it's... I got better at the stages I'd already played. That's what I'll say. What? Come on. I just... I want to go through this first part relatively fast without falling to my death. I don't think that'll be possible, though. Okay. No matter what happens, no restarts. I am not going to be stupid now. Well, if I, if I am stupid, I'll be stupid in a different way. That is not going to waste as much as our time. Okay. There we go. We home and attack on it. The main thing is just... The homing attack does not work as well with the boost as I would have expected. But the main thing is that before I started this game yesterday, I had had literally no experience with true modern Sonic boost gameplay. Oh, we got a red star ring and... Never mind. I shouldn't have been boosting. But modern Sonic gameplay, aka boost gameplay, was pioneered in Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360 and PS3. And that's where you get this sort of, again, modern Sonic is a sports car, big aura around him. What is very interesting is that the boost itself was introduced in Sonic Rush for the DS, which I actually did play. And the gameplay of Sonic Generations 3DS for modern Sonic, it's still 2D, but it's basically like Sonic Rush. You're boosting. And you become a little more difficult to control, but it doesn't matter as much, because you don't have to move left and right. It's a 2D game, which means... The control issues of boost, or you know, the balance of boost, and again, you can't control yourself as well, but you do go really fast. It's not as difficult a trade-off to make in 2D as it is in 3D, which it definitely just makes it a different kind of game. I wouldn't say better or worse, it's just different. And we stomped. Okay, there we go. Let's try not to die this time. Okay, right, and we can push it down, which is exciting. That said... I imagine the high road would still probably but No, well, we can get a red star ring. Nice. Had to take that hit, though. It's a real interesting game. I... That was really annoying place to get stuck in. Okay, there we go. The main thing is that, like I said before, a lot of skills in the game are unlocked. Every time you get all five red star rings in a stage, that unlocks a new skill for either classic or modern side, based on which act is you did it with is in which Sonic you got all the red star rings with to not get hit by the fire. Okay, we can't push that. So like I said before, that homing attack on Classic Sonic is going to be from getting all the red star rings with Classic Sonic in the final stage and I did not think I was going to do a homing attack rather than a jump and clearly there's something down there it seems. How far can I push this down? It, it let me do that and it didn't even give me anything decent. Why, why did it tell me to do that, then? I hate my stupid chunga slide. Okay. Oh, there's... Can I get all the way up there? I cannot get all the way up there. Okay. The red star rings are really cool. But yeah, you're definitely not really going to find them all on a first way through, even if you're being thorough. There's one over there, too. Okay, this, we have to stomp down. That would go up, but also... Probably try to smash me. That's not good. There we go, we can get that, and then it pushes up and potentially crushes you against the ceiling. Also, we got... I... I thought that platform would have been a bit more accessible, and... Okay, it did not kill me. Okay, they've gotten a bit more generous about... a crush... dealing damage instead of just killing you outright. That's nice. 
Yeah, sometimes I am good at games. Very rarely, but sometimes. Hey, that... Not enough time for that, okay. This should theoretically be... Close to the end of the stage. I, I couldn't see that rock coming. Come on. Come on, man. Okay. Quick step can only do so much when you can't see. Okay, there we go. Let's dodge the car. Oh, there was a red star ring there, too. Okay, and... There's our goal ring. Yeah. Well, it... I'm usually unlucky. Sometimes I'm good in spite of that bad luck. Oftentimes, I'm unlucky and bad. <laughs> Let's get the story straight. Okay. So... Since we've done both Crisis City, we will heal Blaze, who in... Sonic 06 was kind of Silver's girlfriend? Kinda, but she actually came from Sonic Rush, where <sighs> Sonic Rush has one of the best soundtracks of any video game ever. I contend that. It was made by Naganuma Hideki, who also did the soundtracks for Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future, and also he really likes Peter Griffin and tweets about it. I'm grateful for your aid. So basically they change her backstory in 06 for whatever yeah, reason, so there are basically two boys as now. It's... Hmm. Sonic lore is interesting, but not necessarily because it makes sense. Because it doesn't make sense. Thank you for your help, but I still don't think we can let her go down yet. Got over 23 and Mushroom Hill Zone. Another first stage. So this is Rooftop Run, which is from Sonic Unleashed. It is also based off of Spain. It's also got some pretty iconic music. Egg Launchers. It is really cool how every stage is almost completely different enemies. Because they're from different games. That... Move me a lot faster than I would have expected. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. There we go. Look for that platform. Missiles are coming in. Kinda sort of homing in. Huh? Okay, that timing was actually terrible. I feel like they've got a... Then dead against me or something. And that's just death. Oops. You know, it's early enough. I'm gonna restart that. That, that did not just happen. That did not just happen. Okay. Yeah. See, sometimes I'm unlucky but good. Usually I'm unlucky and bad. Okay. Oh, yeah. This game does not really hold your hand, especially if you want to actually go fast. Now, let's get up here. Yep, we got a red star ring for taking that high road and... Okay, that also meant we didn't get to take the entire high road, but... We got the red star ring out of that. Can't hit that enemy. Okay. Honestly, this has given me a greater appreciation for classic Sonic gameplay. Just because that modern Sonic gameplay has been really, really smashing me to bits. Okay. But. On the topic of Kirby, usually we get a new Kirby game every year, if only some kind of spin off or a remake. Which makes it all the more interesting that we didn't get anything from HAL this year. And a lot of people, myself included, thought about that, especially in the context of the Switch 2 being on the horizon, theoretically. Just makes me think, we might get a Kirby game and a really good Kirby game as a launch title for the Switch 2. And if so, I am really excited for that. Yeah, well, it, if I'd timed my jump better and jumped a bit higher, I could have stayed on the high road. I just wasn't prepared. I... Huh? Wait, what? And now we're dropped down. Stupid Chungus life. Okay. Come on. There we go. And oh, look. We got guillotines. That's more of a France thing than a... Italy... Th I mean, France thing than a Spain thing, right? I don't know. I don't know. By the way, there still seem to be another... Oh, my goodness. Tom, that so badly. But I think the platform would have fallen down anyway. It's the annoying thing. Let's see if I can reach that. I probably can't reach that. And I just get... Oh, they actually do respawn. We, yeah, we pray for a great Kirby game for Switch 2. Main thing is just the fact that HAL has not announced anything for 2024 makes me think that we're going to get a new game soon. I really don't need to go in for this ring right now. But you do get to see me get hit and just wipe out again and again. I hope that means something. Okay, let's turn this right. Now you're going to swim down and... Finally, we got that red star ring and got hit by the enemy. It it would be one thing if I was just trying to go through the stage fast. It's another thing trying to get those red rings. Okay. 
Because I do want to come back for S ranks, and I do also want to come back for all the red rings. Yeah. You you do take great joy. Get a lot of delight out of my suffering. I still don't know how I feel about that. At least you watch. And uh, now we can avoid that. Now another barrel is falling. I guess this is how you can tell it's really Spain. A lot of presumably wine-related things. Got- oh my goodness. We got flattened, but it did not kill us. That's good news. It's okay. I am also operating at much lower capacity than I would like right now. Can I spin dash jump this? Need enough turning space. There we go, and that should be a- yep, that is a red star ring as well. Nice. I- can I get down there? Let's see if I have to jump spin dash this. I- that didn't jump right now. I- there we are, now we're up here. Calling it semiotics is honestly really interesting. Can I push this? Uh, yeah, you can push this, and that's- Oh, it's an Amy Chow, that's really cute. Because some of the Chow, and I think that was more of a Sonic Adventure thing. Yeah, because in the original Sonic Adventure, Chow would look like characters if that character interacted with them enough. In Sonic Adventure 2, it was just evil team gets evil Chow, good team gets good Chow. Well, dark Chow and hero Chow, more specifically. Not evil, not good, just dark versus hero. That's right. Yeah. I guess maybe hero versus anti-hero would be more accurate there. Can I hit that? Doesn't look like I can hit that spring. Yeah, I I'm tired because I worked a lot today. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Okay, it... Let me see... Work, study! Same thing, really, right? Let's see where we're going. I... Laser beams are not making me happy. I... Let's hit that again. It's interesting seeing the different kinds of... Springs and how not different they are, really. Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of the Red Star Rings. Wow. I feel like there's a good chance I can actually get all five this time. Wow. Can I get up here? Well, it... I do not want to toot my own horn, but it gets pretty tiring. I want to see if I can get up here, then. Might need to take the half pipe. Maybe. Let's see... We take this side, and... That is legitimately rather strange. I... It's just... Somehow, I don't think that was the right way to do it. What if I jump into... That funny little clock hole? Oh, well, there's another red star ring over there, it seems. Wonder if I can grab that here. I can just barely not do it. Oh, what I needed to do was... Presumably hit that enemy, so... Guess who missed his chance to get that red star ring this run? That's me. And... Okay, you can't even make that jump. I actually want to see... Is that enemy going to res respawn if I get enough distance from that? The answer is an unfortunate no. I may cry. Well, I won't. I just want to. Come on. Come on. Did not manage to get the clock. Mm hmm Few things are more frustrating than Tired Sonic the Hedgehog. So I guess it's a matter of waiting for the clock to come back. Awesome! Okay. Can I grab onto that? I... Oh my goodness. This is silly. Let me... At least the big minute hand is coming now. Let's... Surprisingly floaty there. This should be good. And now we can get into the clock. Come on. Come on. I... There we are. Okay, now we can hold to charge the clock up. Oh, that's fun. But wait, if I jump up high... Let me see. Can I get to that? Okay, the clock is totally off limits now. I can't try to jump up and get that red star ring again. Jump inside the balloon. Oh, having to break off the top of a pipe is very, very classic Sonic. There are a lot of pipe -like, pipes like that in the original Sonic 1, actually. We spent less time in that blimp than I would have expected. Okay. And that's the end of the stage. Interesting stuff. 
Yeah, you, it's really hard to get anything below a B unless you are... I don't know. I feel like saying anything more would be meaner than I like to be. Or meaner than I have the energy to be. Time for Act 2 so we can save Vector, who... I never got to play Unleashed. I'm not sure if he even shows up in Unleashed. We do have the funny little Amy Chow up there. There are a lot of... 24, 25... It doesn't matter. You're saying the song doesn't matter? It's honestly really mean. Well, that's... Actually, well, that's Sonic's theme from Adventure and Adventure 2. There are actually two It Doesn't Matters. Well, it, it depends on who I'm being mean to. Depends on whether I have a target I can feel good about be being mean to, which honestly is admitting a lot of dangerous things. But as I was saying, since the Chow are back, and specifically the special Chow from Adventure 1 and Adventure 2, a lot of people thinking... Wow, there was a red ring right there. A lot of people thinking that it's highlighting the return of a Chow Garden in a mainline Sonic title, which is something a lot of people have been asking for for a while. The Chow Garden was really cool because on the original Dreamcast, which is something that, of course, did not have in later re-releases of the game, the Dreamcast... The Sega Dreamcast had basically a little Game Boy, or I guess more of a Tamagotchi as its memory card. It's called the VMU, if I recall correctly. And it would let you play little downloadable games in a DS download play kind of style with other games. So one of the things you could do on the original Dreamcast was take your Chow out of Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 and put them in your VMU to basically play them as a little Tamagotchi. And if I recall correctly, I think they might have had something to try to approximate that in the early releases with the Sonic Advance games as the sort of substitute, but it wasn't exactly the same as you would ima as you might imagine. As it's, you know, console based around silly little things like this versus jury rigging it on someone else's console. But a lot of people have recognized the Sega Dreamcast is very innovative and being before its time in a lot of ways that did not benefit it, in that the industry was not ready for the Dreamcast that it tried to innovate in ways that were very often copied, but... Can I... Cannon's weird. Cannon's weird. That ultimately helped the game industry out, but did not help Sega, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? They did the work of innovating, and a lot of people copied, and did not really reap the rewards of innovating like they did. Okay, quick step, quick time event. Going to the middle is generally the best way to do things. Let's trick up. Yeah, it... Honestly, there's a lot of similarity with... I believe it was called General Magic. But back in the late 90s, I believe, there was a plan with a number of... I believe it was Bell Labs, which was eventually split up to a lot of companies for anti-monopoly reasons. But... In the late 90s, there was a program called General Magic where a lot of tech people basically tried to make what would eventually become the modern smartphone. And it's not exactly the same, but generally speaking, a lot of innovations get made before they're actually popularized, if you, if you catch my drift. But the interesting thing about General Magic is that it was kind of government and kind of military, which means it was never really intended to make a profit in its original form. The same could be said of ARPANET, which was the predecessor to the modern internet and also literally something that was made by the American military. But... And that's the, that's the thing with a lot of innovations, is that, generally speaking, there will be, for various reasons, a public sphere trial run before the private sphere version becomes actually a thing. And that's... Triple... Okay, well, we missed a Red Star Ring. That's how a lot of innovation and research happens for better or worse. That... Not just public sphere, but specifically military public sphere involvement is involved with getting things like these off the ground. Well, it... I think sucks is... Not necessarily accurate, it's a matter of whether they accomplish their goals or not. And like I said, the point of public funding 
and public projects like these, and we still got an S. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't die, and I actually went pretty fast. Fair enough. It's not really to turn a profit there, it's to just push technology forward. Oftentimes for military or, frankly, surveillance applications. So now we got Vector. The real thing to object to is when public research is fully monetized by the private sphere and basically sold back to the consumer, that the results of taxpayer-funded research are basically sold back to the taxpayer, and they basically get charged twice. Yeah. I care too much about politics and the economy. Though to be fair, it is what I studied in college. Has to be behind all this, we gotta take him out Sonic. R work 27, R work 28, R work 29, okay. So this is the stage where if we get all the red star rings, we can get homing attack on classic Sonic. So I think I might actually go through this stage a couple of times. Exactly, I, I gotta make use of all that knowledge somehow. I know about things other than Sonic the Hedgehog and, okay, right, we got wisp abilities here. So we got the funny little wisp in here, and I think we have to go back. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, we got Egg Pawns again, who are also in the Sonic Hero stage. But Egg Pawns with jobs were a Sonic Colors thing. This is, this is actually the final stage in Sonic Colors, if I recall correctly. And, we, oh, there were spikes there. Did not see that. Get that, and let me go up here. Yeah, as long as it's interesting. Cannot reach that, okay. Oh my goodness. Mercy me. And... Pig side color power, move along walls and ceilings. Okay, cool. Now we can go up. Can I spin dash? You can't even spin dash. You can't spin dash with that too, that's fun. That's cool. Yeah, because they're bringing back some parts of earlier game gimmicks. Right here. I apologize. Sorry to hear that. It does seem like the world is punishing Italians. For no good reason. Okay. Well, me too. Does, I wonder if that steam would damage me, though. So we got one red star ring already. What is that switch? See, I... Oh, goodness. Now we can use this. Let's try to get up top. And where is that sending me, though? It's really strange. Luckily, we got that back. I, oh, we have to go on the switch. And now I see. Now I see. Now we got that. Let's get our wisp power back. Just to ensure. Now we go up there. I think we can go up there. Or some kind of switch with spike. Or it's really strange, honestly. Oh, we're even invincible during that. The one thing about every stage having its own gimmicks is a lot of weirdness. Oh, there's another switch there, too. Okay, and that even gets me a red star ring. How long is that? It's not gonna last forever. Let's see. Take this, get over there, and I... Well, that is tough to get. Guess we go back and try to get the spike again. I really do need all of those abilities this time. I mean, all of those rings this time because it is connected to... Oh. Connected to that homing attack. Okay, get up here. Can we hit the ceiling or Let's see if we can hit that ceiling? Hi. Can we get up top to the roof? I did not have the time for that. It's annoying. We were pretty close, and that does damage me. Okay. Let's see. Hi. Get up there and yeah, you need the spike to get up there. Huh. So we need to get on the roof, stay on the roof, and make sure we can. Use the spike dash to get up top. Best idea then would probably be to keep that until we can get up top there. Use that power. And let's dash. I. Never mind. I. Oh, what? Okay. That was bothersome. It's not even letting me go in the direction I choose on the wall. It's annoying. Let's jump up top. Can I cling there? Can I cling up there? It's really, really finicky. Okay. Can I jump, cling? That should be good. And I... Uh, very, very finicky. I 
That's clearly I need to get on that platform, then you spike there. I have not heard of the cramps. I mean, I have not heard of the cramps. I've heard of the cramps, and I hear they're good. They're punk, right? I do need to listen to more punk. What's really funny is that my dad's actually a big punk guy. If you've heard of the band Operation Ivy, he's actually from the Bay Area, as am I technically, though I only lived there for a few years. San Francisco. It's a band called Cuckoo Muck. I'll note that down. Operation Ivy is an old classic punk band from the early days of hardcore that he really likes. I think he'd be happy if I put in a recommendation for them there. One thing I really appreciate about punk is, as someone who does dabble in bass, is that punk almost always has really good bass lines. I- oh, that bounces me off. That- I gotta get that spike back. Now, this is not gonna be an S rank, but I can at least- Oh, you just used that half pipe. Okay. I'm not just stupid. I'm super stupid. At least we got it. Okay, let's get that spike again. And... Okay, we got you there. I just went up that way. We Dash and jump. I oh my goodness. How can I get up there then? That's the question. Dash and jump like this would definitely be the way. I there we are. Now we can get this red star ring. Nice. Only two more and how did I fall there? How did I fall there? Okay. Controls for that are weird. All I'm gonna say is, if I'm getting screwed, at least it's funny. If I'm getting screwed, at least it's funny. To some people. Okay. But back in... What's interesting is that Sonic Colors' whole gimmick was these wisp power-ups. They have little funny little guys with the power-up abilities. And so in... I forget which one Modern Sonic has in this one. In console, which this is a port of... Classic Sonic's got Pink Spike, and I believe Modern Sonic is Orange Rocket. In the 3DS version that I played some years ago, it was Cyan Laser from Modern Sonic, which was just basically Air Boost, and then Classic Sonic had Orange Burst, which was basically a mid-air jump. That one was really cool, actually. That was a fun one to do. It definitely gave it a bit of a different platforming feel. Okay. Get up here, and spin this. I- wait. Huh? Should probably get this power up back before I lose it. And gotta spin the right direction. Let me see. Now we're up here. Got on the top. Wonder where a red star ring might be from here. I think it's probably a matter of staying on the high road. I've gotten can't check those. Doesn't seem like I have a way to check what red star rings we have unless without actually picking one up. Hmm, that's unpleasant. So let me check back here. Oh, missiles! Unexpected missiles. That's always good news. Let's see. Can I get up here? Answer is no. That's indicating a high road that is not accessible to me. Awesome. Okay. But, okay, now that also locked off behind me. I don't like that. Spike dash will break these. That's good. And where is my... Let's see, got that back at least. Can I- Oh! No, you can go up there. That's good. Second, I thought you wouldn't be able to. That bounces me. That is really strange. Let's just get this. And restore that. Now I wonder where... Did I already miss that final red star ring? Or is there going to be another way for me to get it? That's my question. I... This is not looking good for me. Also, it... Controls here... I'm sure that it would make a lot of sense if I'd actually played Sonic Colors. The controls for Pink Spike are kind of funky right now. Now we can get up here at least and do a jump. Yeah, I'm just not used to it. There we are. How about you don't touch me? Huh. I feel like that high road might be accessible if I'd had that spike. No, we just get sent back there anyway. It's fun that this checkpoint is literally just a pocket on the side. Oh my goodness. So anything over here that I can get? Yeah, that would just be a faster with a spike. No, actually, it's just moving the platform so we can get in there and can I... No, we dashed the wrong way. I will say the controls are a bit finicky sometimes. But it... And that's the thing with games like these is that whenever controls are difficult, you have to ask yourself, is that a deliberate design choice or is it by accident?
Because I do generally tend to be a person who says the developer can do basically whatever they want, no matter what that is for the sake of art, within reason. And sometimes that does mean games that are deliberately a bit clunky, if it provides the game field the dev wants. You know what I mean? That The original Mother 3, which is a game I did not get to play myself, but a lot of my friends played, is deliberately clunky and weird a lot of the times, and deliberately unfun. Because that provides the experience the devs want to provide. The entire point is sometimes the game is deliberately a bit of a grind because it's intended to give emotions of, wow, this sucks. And it's sort of, is that a legitimate way for a game to be designed? I would say yes. It's plainly not for everyone, but I would say yes. Let me get down here. Let's spin that and go over this way. Because there's a part in the game where you literally just work in a factory. And it's not supposed to be fun. And it isn't fun. But it becomes a question of, okay, is that a legitimate design choice to make when you're making a game? Again, I would say yes. I, I should go back and play Mother 3 sometime. That is a game I want to play. It's also interesting in that it's an RPG with rhythm game elements. But it's not explicitly a rhythm game. In that, there's a combo ability you can do in fights where you get more hits and more damage, therefore, if you tap the attack button along with the music after performing an attack in a game that is otherwise completely turn-based. That said, there are some arguable exceptions, such as the fact that this is something that was true in Earthbound as well. Oh my goodness. Let's get over there. I oh, that's damage. Not fun. The main thing about Earthbound and Mother 3 is that when you take damage in the game, that damage is not immediately applied, so if you're fast enough, you can heal yourself after taking otherwise fatal damage. Which is a really cool thing to do in an, again, otherwise completely turn-based RPG. Okay. I wonder where that final... Spot. Okay, it's over there. That's where that final red star ring is. So we have to jump. Interesting. It is really cool. A lot of very cool design decisions are, were made by the dev team for Mother 2 and Mother 3. Big thing is, it it was made by a guy named Shigesato Itoi, who is honestly more of a columnist than a game developer. It's sort of a general sort of weird artsy guy back in Japan. And what's interesting is that he owns the IP to Mother himself, meaning that Nintendo cannot actually decide to make another <coughs> Mother slash Earthbound game just of their own volition, because he owns the property personally, for better or worse. So we got that final Red Star Ring, despite all that silliness. Okay. Just gotta get the first one and then beat the stage again, I guess. Oops. But it does seem like, to be totally honest, the later stages have their Red Star Rings a lot more accessible. I don't dislike that. Okay, there we go. Let's get on here and spin that. Is that going to send me another checkpoint? Nice. Let's get another big spike. Go up here and there we go. But, oh, well, that's damage. Don't like that. There we are. We're going up. God, uh, I... Weird. Hmm... Yeah, Pink Spike definitely is a little clumsy. It does seem like it might be limiting my jump height a bit. Maybe. Either way, we're almost at that end. How exciting. I... Come on, up. I... Really? Okay. I hate those rockets so much. No, to be fair, this is the last stage of the game in both Sonic Colors and Generation, so if anything's going to be tough, it should be this stage. Okay, come on. And there we are. Thank you. Oh, that doesn't let you go off. Well, that's funky. Huh. This S rank might be an absolute nightmare. Maybe. I go up here. There we are. Let's get another. Maybe. Let's get this. It's. We got speed in addition to that. Hmm. I. That sent me off. Weird. I... Okay. There we are. Oh, now that's a half-pipe. Interesting. 
Do I have to make this a half pipe to make that work, or...? Aw, that bumper is not enjoyable to deal with. I guess we gotta work all the switches or something? Maybe. This... I was not expecting a somewhat complicated puzzle in a Sonic game. At least a puzzle that is more complicated than I, than I would like for 9 plus PM after working a job. I mean, not that it, it's not bad, it's just not what, I, not what I was expecting. I feel like this would honestly be a better as a weekend game, maybe. It's weird to say. But getting through base game would not require the weekends. Getting s ranks in all the challenges s ranks probably would. And is this the end of Planet Wisp? Well, we've exited back to Green area. We've gotten into the factory and out of the factory. I really did expect this to be a good deal more relaxing. <clears throat> okay. And somehow we still got a B rank. We were in this stage for almost 14 minutes and we still got a B rank. <laughs> Though to be fair, it's definitely because the stage is just really, really long. And <clears throat> they set the target to match it. There are some stages in... Sonic Unleashed Night Mode, which is... <clears throat> beat em up gameplay where you play, play as a werewolf Sonic, or I mean werehog Green Forest. Work 30. 31, 32. I do have Animal Crossing, technically. It's just... Animal Crossing is... I hate to say it, it's just not an interesting stream game. Because there's only so much you can do per day. There isn't a lot of permanent content you can work on over time. Fantasy Life is a bit like Animal Crossing, but... There is permanent content that you can work on... In a single day there. Okay, fair. It's not that I disliked Animal Crossing. I enjoyed Animal Crossing, what I played of it. My sister and my dad enjoyed it even more. But it's just not what I would call an ideal stream game. Because it is just... Oh, and we got a red star ring there. No, actually I mistook a checkpoint for a red star ring. Because apparently I'm blind. This is kind of sad. One, two, three, four. Yeah. But my dad and my sister during coronavirus, and to be fair, Animal Crossing New Horizons was basically the coronavirus game. Played a lot of Animal Crossing. They actually did some giveaway that got them a lot of bells from some influencer, actually, which is really funny to me. And somehow that... I did not get that rainbow ring. Huh. Well, it... A lot of it is just because it's basically an incremental game that is not intended to be something you play a bunch in one sitting. Yes! And to be fair, there are a lot of games that can be played in multiple sittings, but Animal Crossing, because of how daily it is, basically forces you to play it in a short sitting per day game. That's how it's designed. Okay, is that platform gonna come back? I hope that platform responds. It doesn't look like that platform is coming back. It's just so sad. I... Oh, come on! Whatever. Well, at least it respawned now. Okay, one. Just gotta make sure we jump on it when it's going up and set it down. There we are. One, two. And this should get me something interesting, I hope. And will that get me a red star ring? Two. And we can trick off that. That's fun. Now we're in 2D. And yep, it is Orange Rocket for Modern Sonic. Sort of higher places. Charge that up. Oh, you have to time that. There we are. You have to time that right. Break through the top there. Interesting. Closes below us. More 2D. And we're down there. I wonder if there's a red star ring over on that platform. Get up it. That does look like something I can wall jump on. Not unless I miss that. I guess it's time to strategically die. Now we're back here. Thank you. Oops. Okay. Come on, come on. Now we're in the area. Can I... Okay, that doesn't look like it was anything at all then. What gives? Whatever. Okay. Thank you. One, two. Thank you. All right. 
And, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you, oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to jump instead of do that boost. All right, now let's start charge that up and there we go. Yep, if you hold it for too long, you'll just miss your chance and, okay. Oh my goodness. Not for, not for nothing. For almost nothing. We died for a little bit of information. Information is valuable. It, as G.I. Joe says, knowing is half the battle. And, uh, can I get up there? All these platforms that... That's a red star ring! There we go. And that was even the second. Honestly, it feels like they're getting easier to find the later the stage is to compensate for the stage itself being a bit more difficult. I don't hate that. Okay. Stay up on the high road as much as possible. I... Okay. Is that one going to respawn? <sighs> and that that is the one thing about Sonic Controls that I definitively don't like. That when it wants you to do precision platforming, the controls very much are not suited for that. And it's great for deliberately kind of difficult, hard to control hot rod platforming. It's not as good for control precisely to do things that we want you to do precisely. Alright. I've been taking the high road and staying on the high road. And funny quick step. Nice, nice. Oh, there we go. We even got a red star ring out of that. Nice. All of those. So honestly, unless I'm actively speed running, I should never have been using boosts in the first place. That is certainly interesting to know. There was another platform back there. It looks like it's time to die on purpose again. Actually, no, we can just jump up there to get on a... Is this a... This is basically a minecart. Okay. Oh, and you can actually speed it up. You can basically boost the minecart. It's really funny, actually. And we can get on the cart. There I... Honestly do not feel like speeding up the cart. There we are. Let's boost that. And... See what we can get. And we do break through. Nice. Should probably save that up. For another spot to boost with it. Boomerang pickaxe. Oh my goodness. Actually, I want to see. If I tried to orange rocket boost here, would that take me anywhere special? It seems like it. Wait. Wait. Yep, and this goes back the other way. It's definitely got to be some kind of secret then. I hope. Okay, yep. This is something. Uh-huh. Doubling back this way. And I... I missed that? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, come on. Let's get on another minecart then. Maybe. Actually, there's a rocket over there. Should hopefully be able to get on? Still not exactly sure what's going on here then. High road is good, but what that high road entails is another question. So it seems we're back to where we were. I... Oh, I didn't hold it long enough. Okay. I don't dislike this, but it's definitely a little clunky. And oh, that whisk did not come back. That is more interesting, and that means it's time to die on purpose again. I want those red star rings. Okay. Thank you. Back here. Sequoia some boost. Rock will do it. And we broke through. Thank you. Main thing is hitting one of the pawn on it so you can use the homing attack to home in, as the name would suggest, is a good idea. I think we're on the right track now. I think we can get Rocket there, and there should be a spot to use it then. I oh, it was over there. That's where we were supposed to use Rocket. Aw. I that is legitimately really weird. Okay. Let's verify that information, and... I genuinely wonder what I was supposed to do there, then. Okay. Time for more death. Okay. Playing Sonic like a collectathon is... 
certainly not the normal way of doing things, but... And we missed our chance. Awesome. Uh, okay. Let's get hit. And that rings back. It is! And honestly, as dumb as it sounds, what I'm being spoiled by right now is specifically Genshin. Because in Genshin, even if you use Kinesis Grapple, and in a lot of ways the homing attack is pretty similar to the Grapple here because I'm using it to get more air movement, if you use Kinesis Grapple and use up all your uses, if you get near a door grapple point, it refreshes so you can use it again. It's not going to stop you from grappling with a grapple point just because you've already used up your normal grapple uses that are just for air movement. But if you use your one homing attack, it doesn't come back in Sonic. The main thing is that it seems that there's a spot where they want me to use Orange Rocket here along the way. I cannot for the life of me figure out where that is exactly. Okay. Honestly, not one's movement is just fantastic. There's no way around that. It's just really, really good. I oh, it was over there. So anytime they want you to use it, they'll mark it. Anytime they want you to use it, they'll mark it. Okay. So now that we have our information, time to strategically die one more time. This is certainly an unconventional way to play a Sonic game. Though I'd say, for better or worse, it very much suits me. Alright. The orange rocket. And I... We still got that boost. Okay. And... There we go. Get the rings. Or not, actually. Now yeah, we can do that. So we get over to the right spot to rocket. We'll do it. Well, it... I would say sometimes. Oh, and we even got a red star ring out of that. That's exciting. So that was kind of worth it, I suppose. Oh, and that just hits you. Okay. So the spring will not save you, and the spring will oftentimes very deliberately intersect. Okay. I have to wait until it's on the downswing then. Especially since I don't think it touches me on this platform, even when it comes all the way down. Alright, and I... Oh, that timing's real tricky then. I have to basically squat down, I suppose, and wait until it comes back up. Interesting. Okay. Now it... Never mind. Okay. That was really weird. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright. Seconds and boost out. And here we are. What if I go this way? The funny thing, if I go this way... I... Honestly, am not sure. Oh, there was a chow just sitting there. Does not appear like that route is actually anything, especially since there was that signpost that in my fugue state I didn't even see. Okay. Hmm, what I wonder is... How am I going to get on there? Clearly it's a matter of hitting an egg pawn when it's in a state where I can homing attack it. It's going to require some very precise timing. If that even is the right spot. Oh, you can destroy those. That's funny. Let me just see them. I... Ooh! The homing attack doesn't even bring me all the way over. Interesting. Hmm. I... I do get the impression that that way is the right way... That way is the right way to go. Okay. And I... Oh, come on. I feel like if the tummy isn't right when I first hop in the ring... Changing rings will not give me the right timing. They seem to be kind of synced up. Hmm. Think, though, that... No, they're, they're slightly desynced enough that eventually I'll get an opportunity if I can capitalize on it correctly. Main thing is that the hitbox for the ring is actually smaller than you would think. You can't just touch the outside. You have to actually go through the inside. Okay. Let me see. Wasn't it... And I, hmm, I think I need to at least try this spot then. Maybe. Seems to be kind of reaching around that way. Yeah, I just need to go here in the first place. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Nice. And inshallah, the final 
Red Star Ring will be over here somewhere. This is a high road. Seems to be some sort of... Okay, another orange rocket. And... This... Breaks us through. Guess we can just try to go for a few more hits. Ooh, interesting. There are two options here. That is... Legitimately kind of scary. This is Roblox pick about you. Oh, no, it gradually goes down. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, okay, there are just multiple options. I need to find a Wisp before we get crushed. Okay. Oh, that's actually even more interesting. Now, this is remarkably similar to some Kirby things. I... Oh, come on. I... Now I'm just dead. Now I'm dead. Yeah, okay. So right first would be the right option there. Pun intended. This is cool. I will say that, again, precision platforming in a Sonic game is generally not a winning idea, but... The same bad. Same bad. This actually does not look like the way up. I wonder if there's a ring here. I... Uh, let me see. Oh, you can change. I think I should die here deliberately. Seems like it could change direction a bit. Honestly, I wonder if the spikes aren't here so you can restart. Because you can move yourself a little while you're in rocket form, and it seems to me that... There might be a red star ring in there, maybe? In between those two rocket barriers. So I'd have to deliberately crash land to make sure that I don't break through both. Interesting. Okay. It's definitely different. Doesn't look like there's a ring there, but let's see. Should probably test that too, just in case. There's no issue with lives, so we can just mess that up as much as we like. And well, that still sent me through. I wonder if it's just to test charge shine then. That's my question. Hmm. I'm gonna try that one more time. Just to see. Hmm. Go up. Thank you. Did that end. Let's see how this is gonna go. What would happen if I tried to deliberately hit that platform over there? Let's see what's that way. Could give me an answer to an interesting question and Oh, that just pushes it up. Interesting. Does not look like a way to do that then. Okay. Push up the platform. Oh, so that's just the maximum height it came down from. That's what was going on. Now I understand. More or less. Okay. Just keep ascending. And God willing, we'll get another red star ring somewhere down the line. Here's our wisp, and oops, damage. Didn't like that. For that to come over. And, ooh, my goodness. Okay, and this should be a spot. Or not, I, ooh, okay. Never mind. Hmm. This is, I, oh my goodness. It's over. Or not, I, there we go. It's actually not over. How exciting. Break through and, ooh. There is a goal ring there. What if I... So in other words, I missed the last red star ring somehow. I bet it's in that final portion, but... There's no way for me to deliberately just die here, though. That's the problem. I feel like there should be a tactical suicide button in Sonic for that reason. So finally, through great effort, I managed to get a C rank. By basically trying to die. That means one last rival race, some challenges, and... Final boss here, and we barely didn't get all five. Huh. Mm -hmm. Got a dark chow. Planet was restored. Well, even in Roblox, you can press reset. Even in Roblox, you can press reset, okay? They don't call it suicide, but you can do it to reset. You can do it to reset your character and go back to your spawn pool. They don't stop you. In fact, it's a pretty vital function. 
And I guess you just get that one for free from beating all the stages. And Classic Sonic thinks Modern Sonic is super cool. How cute. Ah, Charmy B, the other Chaotix. If I recall correctly, Charmy B is supposed to be something... Seven or eight or something. B me, me B. All right, just simmer down, buddy. Oh, hey! One song. Let's keep the party rolling. I don't think parties roll. That's what wheels do. Challenge at gates of appeared. He got over 33, 34, 35, and 36. Wow! Red Storm looks awesome. Nice job. Okay. Can't go in here yet. What? Go ahead, go ahead, insult me again. You know you want to. So the key is there, but it's disconnected from the rest of the area. I do like these open areas. It's a pink spike, he's at climb up walls. Unfortunately, that was basically the one thing I already knew. Let's do some challenges. Then we'll have a rival race with Silver. And this. Go ahead, call me stupid. Doppelganger race, face off against Sonic's double and beat him in a race for the goal. What is this, something? Mario Galaxy? This is Mario 3D Land. Okay. Alright. Nice. I. Let's try to not get out raced by a doppelganger. Thank you. Uh, 340 is the challenge time. That's a long challenge, is that? Oh, if it's just a race for the stage, I guess that makes sense. Full stage. Oh, come on. Funny bird noises. Oh, okay. And over this way. Here we are. Go up. We are outracing our doppelganger. That's good. Barely. I... Homing attack would have been nice here. Homing attack actually takes all 100 and 100 of Classic Sonic skill points, though. So if you have homing attack, you can't have anything else. Which I would still say it's probably worth it, just because of the movement ability of it. But it does mean it's not just a free equip. Okay. We're going decently fast. We could definitely S rank this if I know what I'm doing. That is a good amount of the entire way, too. Oh, it's fun. That's basically gonna be... Presumably the Traveler versus Sibling fight eventually. There's no way they're not gonna have a Traveler versus Traveler Sibling fight eventually. Like, the real question with just... The tra eventual Traveler Sibling encounter for real would just be... Do you think they would make... When they inevitably make the Traveler Sibling playable... Would the Traveler Sibling be... A Gasha character, an entirely different character also for free, or just basically a toggle reskin for your existing Traveler? That's the real question. I feel like there are all sorts of ways they could go with that. Alright, not a good amount of the rest of the way from the springs. I do like how the stage progress is just basically distance through. So even when you have basically forced movement stuff, it still shows up as progress through the stage. I couldn't quite get that annoying. And let's go up there. Could have gotten that ring, except we didn't. Come on. I couldn't get that either. I oh, oops. Oops. That was dumb. That was really dumb. And doppelganger's back. We can still get S-rank. S-rank does not require not dying. That said, challenges in... Oh my goodness. Yeah, very plainly, that's something you want to have homing attack for. But there's a hard mode for challenges in which if you do have to do them on one life, or at least they actually do pay attention to two lives there. Well, it... You scream because of a lot of things. I don't think that's new. Okay. Come on, come on. I... Right. That's going away. The jump height is not nearly as... Good as I would expect, unfortunately. I, okay. Come on. And we'll jump across. Should be able to reach that shortly. I jump and... Thank you. Almost there. Almost there. I, 
have to fight the winds. I... Come on, come on, let's do this. We're almost there. I want that stupid, stupid S rank. I... What? Dear God. Okay, I... What? No, no. Okay. That didn't even reset the time. I hate stupid, stupid Chungus life. It so very plainly wants you to do this with homing attack. It's not even funny. Okay. Well, it... I... I... That is not necessarily true. You can make that argument about a lot of characters. Who are plot important, but still in Gasha. Okay, there we go. We still won. That was aggravating. Okay. D. Oh, probably a death penalty or something. I don't know. Well, it... As long as they're playable some way. But, for obvious reasons, if they were Gasha, that would increase the chance of them being basically a different character instead of just travel or reskin, if you know what I mean. Well, you can get right in before doing the quest that makes her your friend. Same with Skara. Sonic, is that really you or some kind of fake scent for the Chaos Emeralds? So he fights you because he thinks you're fake. Okay, cool. No rings left, you're always alive. This is the fight with Silver. We do this as Modern Sonic. Okay. I guess the question would just be what element would they be? I feel like Quantum or Abyss or how do they do that? Well, yes, but also no. Silver the Hedgehog. And we gotta dash the car. See an opening. What are you gonna hit me with? Uh, uh, close in. I. Oh, okay. I. Never mind. I. Come on. The timing for those homing attacks is honestly rather bothersome. Okay. That's tough. And there we are, at least. Where are you now? Oh, so I'm gonna Psychic Blade. Interesting. I didn't know he could do pure energy attacks. That's cool. I thought he just did Telekinesis. But either way, he's he's the only Psychic-type Hedgehog. Okay, go ahead. Do your thing, Silver. And now we can... One, two, three, four, and we hit you. Cool. Nice. How many hits we got to deal to knock you out, Silver? Now we understand the fight. Now we understand the fight. Gonna drop the cars again. Which one is first? Those. And now we'll go... Well, we had to slow down in a different way, I presume. Jump. Psychic Knife. Okay, cool. Now we quick step that one. Got more rings. Oh, we're whooping the track. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's boost over the cars. I oh my goodness. But we cannot... Uh, if we don't have a boost, can't really do it in time. There we go, though. How many more hits we gotta deal? Honestly, I shouldn't be boosting unless I need to destroy an obstacle or actively close the gap. Because there are limits to what I can do. I won... Two, three, four, and is that all? It is not all. Okay. Let's just focus on... Luckily, the cars don't deal damage to me. But without boosting, I do need to be a bit better about this quick steps, it seems. And there we go. Now we go in the middle. Definitely control your placement a bit better if you're not boosting, frankly. Jump. Jump. Okay. Quick step. You don't even move around to try to hit me more accurately. Okay. One final one should probably do it. And I... Thank you. Now you are making a funny ramp out of cars. Dodge that psychic knife part and... Hit. How many hits do you take? How many hits do you take, Silver the Hedgehog? I do wonder if I can get an S rank still. Probably not since I missed... This is his final attack, okay. Meteor Smash. 
If I recall correctly, he's voiced by Quentin Flynn. Okay, ride in for Metal Gear. There we go. I Ooh, we can... There, deal final hit. And that's the end. And luckily, he does not get crushed by his own boulder. If there's any fairy type, it'd probably be Amy. Silver, Silver got served, defeat Silver, and... That is still an S rank. Nice. Perfect. Good enough. Honestly, I want to go back and retry that Shadow fight. Because I do have an S rank on the Metal Sonic fight now. I just like Shadow too much. Sometimes that means fighting him. Here we go. Chaos Emerald. Got a Chaos Emerald. We have them all. Actually, of all but one. Level Battle one is actually after the boss one, then. Interesting. Let's fight Shadow again. Let's try to get that S rank real quick. That spring did not seem to go anywhere. Okay. Let's just go to Shadow. Oh well. Oh, we can't even stand on his logo. That's fun. Alright. Back for more Sonic. I guess you never learned your lesson. Let's get a, an S rank, hopefully. Strange looking springs are decoys, but they're not even in this one. Okay. Every piece of music in Sonic Adventure 2 makes me incredibly nostalgic. I used to put it on my grandma's PC when I slept over at my grandma's house. Just the entire soundtrack on YouTube and just fall asleep to it. I'm not kidding. That's also where I'd play Toho. Well, one of the places where I'd play Toho. One of them. But we want to keep... A boost up so we can move more quickly. Okay, drift is good, but we don't need to do it all that much. Come on. I did not get that ramp, unfortunately. That did not come away, which is nice. Uh, quick steps are a good idea here. And I, oh my goodness. Come on. This fight is a little more confusing than I would like. And annoying. Annoying. We got one. Okay. We got one. It's really good music. It, it genuinely does not need qualification. It's just actually good music. But currently, we're racing around the Space Colony Arc. Which is also where Shadow was created. It doesn't have a dedicated stage in base generations. But it does get one in normal in Shadow generations. Okay, and who charged up? I don't know who charged up there. We can beat him to it, I think. Let's see, I... There we go. Just charge that up and boost again. Give that boost meter up. Get some rings. Uh, there we go, we got it, we got it. That's us. Shout with me right, slow him down. Use these boosts to knock him down. Powered up before he powered up. That's the important thing. Just want to quick step to hit him all. That will slow him down. Just gotta make sure we've got enough boost energy to drain all his rings when we actually reach him. He's right over there. Should not be a problem. Actually, he's the boss. Actually, technically, he's a rival. Hopefully, yeah, this should be enough. There we go, cool. I like how... sort of parallel this fight is and that both of us are going for the energy cores and both of us have rings to drain. It really puts things into perspective, especially considering that Sonic is the final boss for Shadow and Shadow's story in Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Shadow has a Sonic fight which is very similar to Sonic's Shadow fight. So now we got that S rank. I think that's what unlocks hard mode. Hi, Kozu. We just fought Shadow the Hedgehog. I feel like that would... That would have appealed to you. But I will actually be beating the base game of Generation soon and be able to start on the Shadow campaign. Not that I had to beat Generations normally to play the Shadow campaign, but I never played the original Generations. I never got to. So I wanted to do the base campaign first. I do not want to do another doppelganger race. So this is... Don't let the goalposts hit the ground as you get to the goal in time. Goalposts juggle. That's an interesting idea. Huh. 
Thank you. Okay, so it moves. Ah, interesting. We gotta juggle it. Five hits. Okay, so it doesn't fall that slowly. That's a good thing. Wait for it to go down. This is a really cool idea. There's some things in Shovel Knight, actually, that are a bit similar to this, and I like that. Thank you. It- oh my goodness. Oh, so it does seem to have some degree of directionality, based on where we're sending it, where we're hitting it from. Maybe? Oh yeah, we actually have to hit it in. Yeah, it's not a preset direction, it's actually hitting the wall and changing direction there. That is very interesting. Now we'll put you over there and can I... Oh goodness, I... Okay. So it'll spin a bit when it's touching the ground and then we'll... Hmm, these platforms are a bit of a doozy to get through like this. Okay. Thank you. I... Oh my goodness, I can't hit that? Oh, that's really stupid. Oh, that just changes time. Okay. I thought I'd be able to make that jump. I hate my stupid jump this life. Come on, and... Let's get back here to hit that down, and... Get a time bonus. Hmm. Let's see how well I can move it over. I oh, come on. Thank you. Dodge that pickaxe. This one is legitimately really tough. Luckily, that's where the goalpost needs to end. Nice! We even got that S rank. Wow, okay. It's not easy. So one more challenge, and then I can fight the last normal boss, and then the final boss. Where is that boss key? Should be a key, and one of the challenge acts... Wait, so is that not for... I beat one of the challenge acts, so why can't I take this? It's very strange. One of the challenge acts, but that was... Oh, because that was Planet Wisp. I literally wasn't... Pff, I couldn't even process that. My goodness. So we need to get the key for Planet Wisp right here. Now I get... Now we have it. Just need to do a rooftop run then. I'm so drained. One rooftop run challenge and we'll be chilling. Right over here should be good. This is... Rooftop... No, that's still Planet Wisp. Okay, and... Oh. We find an actual rooftop run challenge. Do that and we can beat the final bosses. This is still... Still Crisis City! <laughs> How am I going to get to... I guess I need to go all the way over to Crisis City to access the rooftop run challenges. They gotta give me the ability to fly or something, I swear. I may have to eat someone otherwise or something. There's rooftop run. Okay, big balloons to climb higher and higher and reach the goal in time. The challenge changes are really cool. They definitely add a lot of longevity. I think the order I'm going to do is beat base generations, 100% shadow generations, and then go back to 100% base generations. Because I still want to do it, but that'd take a while and also not be as relevant, frankly. The timing on that is evil, legitimately. Really, we're not being nice with that timing there. Jump to the next hook. Thank you. Jump to the cannon. Yeah, but the timing on those shooter guys is very unpleasant. Can I get up here? I can't get up there. I I don't know. The balloon timing isn't bad at all. But that's just one of many. Alright, I don't think I'm getting that S rank. But we'll see. Come on, we'll avoid this and... Yep, if we roll, we can just do that attack. Thank you. The craziest part is going to be getting all the chow and then trying to get hard mode in. It's nice that that bounced me over. 
shower can be tough. And every challenge, stage, and boss fight, I think a hard mode is going to be interesting. Let's see how hard that hard mode actually is, but... I thought that would... Kill. That jump was unpleasant. Got laser beams. Oh, that... I did not think the edges of the laser would block me. Huh. Luckily, you could... Wait. Huh? That balloon is totally useless. Decoy balloon. Wow. That is certainly a concept. And let's go up here or... Wait. That goes over there. And I... Really, really? Okay. Come on. Rings. Where is my... Oh, I couldn't go all the way. I couldn't go all the way. Oh my goodness. I am going to adopt a diet of human flesh. Okay, and you can't actually go on the clock at that time. Anyway. Because normally, in the original stage, you progress it by going in the clock. Clearly, that's not how you do it here. Okay. This is an epic balloon moment derogatory. Will this go up? Okay, it won't go up, but the cannon will allow you to progress anyway. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. Go to the other balloon. Dodge that. The timing was just good enough to avoid that. That was nice, actually. But you can also just jump to avoid that. And up. Uh, well, we still was able to get back on my feet. And there we go. Should be able to get over here then, but that's the end of it. No rings there, but no rings needed. And now, and now, it's time for the last boss before the final boss. It means every Chaos Emerald. So you just get the final Chaos Emerald for free for beating all the normal stages, which is... Okay, what's the point? Collected all the boss gate keys, is them, unlock the boss gate. And here we are. This is going to be a fight with the Egg Dragoon. Who was originally fought using the... Werehog form in Sonic Unleashed, but of course we fought it with normal Sonic, because Werehog form is not in this game. It's also playing Eggman's E-G-G-M-A-N theme from Sonic Adventure 2, which played briefly in that Death Egg robot fight. Intro cutscene beforehand. Let's do this. Music here is really good. The fight in the original was very, very different, and arguably maybe cooler. This is just running down a corridor, but uh, in the original version where you played as Werehog, which meant it was more of a beat-em-up than a chase, Big Dragoon, you fought it by... The fight was gradually plunging into the Earth's molten core. Okay, I'm, ooh, okay. You have to use the ramps. Hard to see where to go there. That's a good spot. Okay, and... Grinds. Oh, okay. I, oh, goodness. It is still on the rail. And it thought we wouldn't fall off. Unfortunately, we suck. But as I was saying, there were multiple rock platforms and you would con continually crash through each platform as you were basically destroying his cockpit and pushing him through each one. And the time the fight was limited by basically, okay, do you kill him, but, well, destroy his robot before you hit the Earth's core. This is just a chase. It's still a cool fight, but it's very, very different. Let's jump to avoid that, and avoid his crusher. And we can even hit there, nice. Fun. So there are multiple ways to hit him, depending on how... He's moving. Probably gonna have to do one of those. Grind rails just to make it work. I oh, hello. Let's dodge your shots. And we're- oh my goodness, and that's all the way down. That's really, really bad. Oh my goodness! Alright, let's try that again. That was honestly pretty unforgiving. Wow. And- I thought quick stepping would be a good good idea, and it was. It would have been a good idea. If I'd done this differently. Okay, and 
Drop out of the right rails. This will get us into the cockpit. Oh, I did not expect that to hit me. Probably should have jumped, and there's a hit. Cool. Luckily, taking hits does not reduce my boost energy. And... Sounds painful. I... Oh, jumped at the wrong time. Jumped at the right time, and... Thank you. Okay. Once you slow down... I wonder if boost will let me catch up before the walls come. Not quite sure. And there we are. Another hit. Very good. Song is real good. And jump. Jump. Can I catch up or? That's the question. If I boost enough. Okay, it does not seem like I can actually catch up. It's pretty sad. And so that's gone. We'll jump over. Deal enough to get to the cockpit. Gonna go 3D mode again, or... I guess not. Yep. Now you're 3D again. Cool. Let's... Make sure we... Get over here and... That get me on the grind rails. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. And jump over that spike that I actually didn't see. And break its body. Okay. Come on. And you get a... Ooh, drill shot. But no 2D it seems, or do you have to close the gap, or what? How am I supposed to get in close and hit the body then? Seems like we got some 2D in here again, okay. We're close enough, and oh, if I jumped, I bet I could have gotten a homing attack in. I needed to take the advantage. Okay. And is this gonna let us catch up, or another wall then? Come on, so we're getting rings. There we are! More body shots, I presume. And can we get a, another hit in? Or? And now we're going to the core of the earth, right. Thought there was something waited. We basically just need to move a bit, change our direction. So it's a little similar. And gotta get in close. And there we are. A couple more hits to the core while we're diving. It's different. Basically, we need to just constantly keep moving to ensure we do not wait. Oh, and then that changes. We miss an opportunity for a homing attack. That's sad. This fight really requires you to react very well. Skewered. I don't like the sound of that. And uh, here we are. We can use the grind rails to get in close again. Very fun fight. And separate. Oh my goodness, I missed. Oh, that was really, really bad. Okay, the jump was too early and I missed the entire grind rail. Wow. Huh, well, that's life, I guess. I honestly want to immediately try this again now that I'll know how to do it. It's a fun fight, it's just not something I was ready for. Phase one or phase two. Honestly, I like how different every fight is and the fact that you definitely have to learn them. Wonder how much checkpoint there might be in each. Got one ring to rule them all. Okay. What's next? Can the sky dive again or... Yep, we're back again. Let's close in. Keep moving. Before we hit that portal, because it seems to be more of a portal thing than anything else. Okay, and sit down, and getting close enough. There we go. And that's the end of the fight. Let's see what ranking we get. Goodbye, Egg Boy. Boom Boom Dragoon. Defeat Egg Dragoon. That's still an A rank. Nice. Okay. I'll take it. wonder what hard mode would change, honestly. Okay. That must have hurt. What is interesting is that you can save all the rival battles for the very end, too. I, this was to be I did them at earliest availability, but I didn't have to. Except...
It's time for the monster. The time eater's theme is fun. Got enough emeralds for that final fight. Egg Dragoon. And. Time Eater. I wonder if there'll be challenges there then. You can now access and explore the next area. Hmm. Level 7 emeralds. Treasure Hunter, collect all the Chaos Emeralds. Let's see what this is then. If these gears are broken, if you insert a Chaos Emerald in each gear, its power may be able to repair it. Collect all Chaos Emeralds to repair the gears. Okay, so it is just an Emerald check. And that's the limit of the game map. Cool. It's one of them. To unlock the final boss game. Should bring the other platforms closer. No, it actually doesn't. So then, I have to go over here. It isn't even moving the platforms. Right. Oh. This is that end. Can't go any past. I wonder how I'll get that spring. Okay, now they're actually moving. So the first three mean you can get to the next. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's actually a clockwork structure. Which is... Well, of course it's clockwork because time. Right, okay. I can't believe it took me that long to realize that the reason all the boss gates had gears in them was because it's clockwork. Okay, I need to actually touch it or at least get a little bit closer. The spring is needed. Now it's actually turning. Two more place, cyan and white. Hmm. I can't believe I missed that. I need to be put down. Cyan? Once you get over here, yeah, you need to put every emerald in to access the next one. Honestly, this reminds me a bit of Kirby's Epic Yarn and how Every stage would give you a little patch that would change the map to make the entrance to the next one show up, which was not really for gameplay, but it just made things look real cool. Actually, I have to make that jump, and that's the last one. Ah, oh, exactly, can't make that jump, because it has to drop you all the way down. I kind of wonder if it's still got platforms that are moving there. I wonder if anything would change. Oh, it's lighting torches with the torch at the bottom underneath. That's fun. And the final game for the final fight. Super Sonic. Be the dark, mysterious enemy and restore the world. Awesome. Before that, I think I will. Okay, that you can phase right through them. That's nice. Just see what might be at the end of that final platform that I just drop through beforehand. Get an answer for my inquiry. Thank you. Anything over here? It's definitely going to be nothing. It's definitely going to be just... It's got moving platforms because it had to, to be like all the others. I don't know, though. Nothing, nothing. Hi. Yeah, nothing. We tried, at least. Here we are. Boss battle. And the reason they got kidnapped was to pilot it. Because now the monster is a machine. Oh, and it seems like they've got the colors of the emeralds in there, too. Emerald control panel. 
me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius doctor. That's a joke about the fact that in the original Japanese, he was always just Eggman. In the for classic Sonic games, in the original English, he was just Robotnik, and they harmonized it by making Robotnik his real name with Eggman his nickname. I discovered it possessed and this is basically tying it into the end of Sonic Colors. through the dimension of time, so I decided to utilize its marvelous capabilities and rewrite the past. In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. The funny thing about Eggman is that he can actually outrun Sonic in certain circumstances. It's kind of like how Gru from Despicable Me is literally superhuman. Hope he's okay. So he just got weirder. No one will judge us anymore after we've destroyed these Sonics forever. Shall we begin then, Doctor? By all means, my dear Doctor. Destroy me? In your I do like the dynamic that the two Eggmans have. It really does make me wish that they had been able to get Julia White to voice classic Sonic. But it would have the amusing and somewhat unfortunate implication that Sonic went from being a black guy to a white guy when he went from classic to modern. <laughs> Blue jelly. Like in Chemical Plant? On a somewhat related note, it was revealed for certain a few years ago that Michael Jackson did write a lot of the Sonic 3 soundtrack. No jelly yet. That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. I thought we were meeting the time agent. You're tougher than that. Come on. Dead. Significant. You face worse, Sonic. Focus your spirit. We're right behind you. I believe in you, Mr. Sonic. Embrace the Embrace the emeralds. Your power, Sonic. You have to win, Sonic, like you've done time and again. So in the original, they rewrote a lot of this. In the original Shadow said, you got this, Sonic. And that became kind of a meme line. And they change it to On Your Feet. And a lot of people are saying that they would have preferred something like that. Encouragement that's honestly a little mean. <laughs> so they got what they wanted. Okay, time eater time. Eater. There we go. Do some together. Come on. Oh, so you can dodge by switching. That's that's fun. Basically, avoid the attack entirely by tunneling through dimensions. Nice. Yep. Avoid that attack. Hmm. 2D to 3D perspective. Yep, that's a good idea. It does seem like it might slow me down a little. Alright, there we go. Did that want me, or...? Either way, it does seem that switching between perspectives to basically avoid it entirely is a pretty good idea. Oh, I think it's yeah, switch and pursue, not switch and evade. Okay. Okay, now you're back in 3D. I don't know how long we'll have to keep going to pursue and... Hmm. 
It does seem that it pushes me back just a little. So we're modern Sonic right like now. Does it now? Does it now? If we just move in a circle, we can avoid it entirely. Now we should be getting closer. Yeah, don't switch and evade, switch and pursue. Okay. Fun. Oh well. Oh, alright. That was... I don't even know if I hit that. Okay. Hmm. Weird fight. Let's actually try that again. Yes. Pursue. Switch to pursue. Okay. Dodge that. Cutting off a sense in the middle sounds like something I'd do. Yeah, imagine if I had a double if I had a duplicate from somewhere else in time. Imagine how much I'd be able to annoy you. Okay, so that does push me back. Okay. That's fine. Dodge that. Switch. Go You're switching, so we'll switch too. We have boost up. What attack are you using then? I guess we can avoid that by warping. Was a little annoying to avoid that way. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure the best way to handle this fight. The rings are honestly kind of hard to see. Just gotta set away of that. Okay. Are getting closer, but switching did push us back a bit. Okay. And thank you. We will kind of stream around it, shoot him up. So oh, we got blocked by the barrier of the arena. Not fun. Not fun. It's got to misdirect it. This direction does seem that moving around is limiting our ability to pursue, though. Is the thing. Oh, okay. Got a wide sweep to it. Did not expect that. Okay. Main thing is, we can't take damage, but if our rings go down to zero, that's, well, another kind of death. Come on. Tough to change direction up to- oh my goodness. No switch and evade, switch and pursue. Okay. What if I stay under? That's good. Okay. And you maintain more distance, huh? It? I'm still boosting, so goodness knows how I should be doing this then. Okay. Just go under that then. Should be getting closer now. Set that again, create a distance. And let's set the way of that then. Yep, just gotta advance past. Should be in a position to actually hit you now. Okay, and... Aww. Can we home? Can we home? Yeah, you have to home in. It looks the same as a boost, but it is a homing attack. Okay, cool. Cool effect. Still in here? Yeah, but you can use... A perspective change is a... More or less a... An emergency dodge. But of course you're in there instead. Okay. Come on. Getting close. We'll go up to stay out of the way and oh my goodness. More of that. Oh come on. Keep moving and why can I not move up? Is it doesn't seem to be a thing with a boost. Dude. Okay. It seems like a did I get out of bounds somehow? That is rather strange. Okay, well, I guess it's just outside of the tunnel now. Actually outside of the tunnel. It is interesting how the tunnel is more than a little like a lot of the special stages in Sonic games. So I imagine that if I hit those sort of the walls of the clock that would have damaged me. Or at least knock, well, knock me back. Okay, and once I see that, there we go, we're getting in close, and 
Can I? Okay. Please, please. Am I even homing incorrectly? Okay, so it seems to display the radical before I can actually move in for the hit. Okay. Here we are, I guess. Gonna switch? You gonna switch? Okay. Does not seem like the walls, the clock, are a problem to me. You've switched now, which means we can switch without using too much. Okay. So the way of that attack. Sonic Frontiers is a lot of Super Sonic fights, actually, a number, and apparently they're all really good. Oh, okay. And what does this mean for me? Let's move out of the way of that, then. Yep, after you switch. Okay. Good idea. And I... Oops. Oops. Now we're out of the way, at least. So we have to be moving as soon as that laser is charging up, it seems. Okay. Bouncing off the walls of the arena seems to also do damage. Okay, we'll switch. Oh, but that's just to hit me. Not me to be able to evade as much. Oh no, it's literally fighting game tough stuff. Set it up without being able to dodge. Okay. So we weren't supposed to switch. Just automatically goes away on its own and that's... It's not something you really resist as much as just... You have to be prepared to dodge as soon as time goes back to normal. Okay, okay. How many hits? How many hits? Oh, and that seems to be hitting me from another angle. Don't like that. Come on. Ah. I can't adjust... I'm moving nearly as much as I'd like. This is honestly rather unpleasant. There we go, at least. There we go, and one more charge. It's gonna be some kind of final attack, I presume. And let me. You got out of range, you absolute clown. Come on. Now we can get out of the way, at least. That's basically horizontal. Okay. Let's not waste this opportunity. And yeah, you're gonna slow down, but we don't need to counter it. As much as we need to be prepared to dodge when time goes back to normal. Okay. Honestly, I don't even know what the point of that is then. Okay. Move above. Thank you. Now we should be able to approach. I hope. And of course it... Switch perspectives. It has to be a better way. I... Oh, not good. Is... Can he move any faster by holding right? I don't think. Boost does not work like that. But I feel as if there's something I have to be missing here. The main thing is just avoiding those homing shots is a lot more annoying than I would like. I cannot... How am I supposed to dodge that? The supersonic controls were just not logical, really. There isn't a lot of explanation for reasons that are obvious, it's just the end sequence. This should be the final hit, I think. Maybe. We did three. We'll end it, okay. Burn to ashes. Had the intro to live and learn, for some reason. Okay, cool. Doing that in a reasonable time frame would be tough. I'm sure that if I worked out the details of the controls for Super Sonic in here, things would make a bit more sense. We still got us. Okay. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Cool. Still warm.
He caught the chili dog. Time travel. Fun. Oh. Oh. Oh, and we even got all these new challenge there too. Teaming up with you, or me. Maybe this will fast track you to learning some new tricks in the future. In the 3DS version, it did. Ugh, time travel's a chore. Yeah, but shows him getting a little bit, but that is not what unlocks the skill. <laughs> Still looks scary. You would think that with a time eater kind of bust it up, it'd look a bit different. Maybe. I don't know. Guess it's gone from being evil robot time eater to just a normal time eater now. Enjoy your future. It's gonna be great. A lot of people made jokes about that one. Look at credits done. Oh, and they're showing the title screen to all the old games featured here. Yep, Sonic 1. Oh, I think they're showing just specifically the stages. That's fun. Green Hill. This is the ones I actually played. But the stages in the 3DS version, except for Green Hill, were all different. Chemical Plant 3DS version had Casino Night instead. The pinball machine we saw was also inspired by that stage. Even though it's not a playable stage in the console version. It's definitely one of the more iconic tracks in the series, I'd say. Oh, and they're... Oh, right, because... Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles were basically one game split into two because it would have been too big for the cartridge otherwise. So Sky Sanctuary is actually from Sonic & Knuckles. The 3DS version had Mushroom Hill, which is also from Sonic & Knuckles. So the full game is basically Sonic 3 & Knuckles. But Sonic and Knuckles is a weird cartridge that could accept another cartridge. So technically there's also Sonic 2 and Knuckles where you get to just play as Knuckles in Sonic 2. And then there's Spirit Speed Highway. 3DS version of the Emerald Coast which was a beach level where you could run from an orca. Pretty similar to the killer whale that bounced us at the end of that seaside hill stage yesterday. It's funny seeing how just grainy that Sonic Adventure logo looks right now, too. Up and down and all around. Up and down and all around. Right. That's the skydive, well, the building one section. Yep, and that's City Escape. 3 days version had a radical highway, which... I believe is also in on the console in the form of its Shadow Generations. I think Shadow Generations is Radical Highway too. Radical Highway, as the name suggests, is basically just another version of Speed Highway. Because people really like Speed Highway and Sonic Adventure, so they decided to just make another version of it, more or less. What's really funny is that whoever made this footage actually kind of messed up when grinding here, which is pretty funny. That's why you saw Sonic kind of almost fall off to the side of the end. I would say, and I'm definitely biased, that Sonic Adventure 2 has the best music tracks in the series. You can't really beat a game that somebody said they were played when they were 12 in terms of nostalgia. 
but I would still say it's iconic for a reason. It's just really, really good. Yep, and that's Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes, and if I recall correctly, what did... What were the stages in 3DS Sonic Generations again? And that's the special team attack, because it gets in C, every playable character was really just three at once. Okay, right. S Sonic Generations 3DS only had seven stages, so only Classic got three stages, which actually kind of balances it out more. As in this one, Classic's got three in modern games of six. Though, again, you could argue that Adventure Era is its own separate thing, but just it didn't get a Sonic representing it. It is really funny that everyone calls it Sonic 06, but its name is still technically just Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what Sega gets for trying to reboot their franchise. I'm honestly more impressed that they were able to get footage of Sonic 06 not including some ridiculous game-breaking glitch. The game was literally rushed out for Christmas and unfinished to the point that that energy gauge at the bottom right for Sonic doesn't do anything. At least at base. Because Silver uses it for Psychic Powers and Shadow uses it for Chaos Powers. I'm pretty sure that Sonic uses it for nothing, or at least almost nothing. Crisis City and Sonic Unleashed. Right. So, Sonic Generations 3DS actually got the Water Palace level from Sonic Rush. Sonic Rush does not have any stage representation in here. What is really funny is that <sighs> Sonic Rush, the Water Palace, its theme is quite literally the, the jazz song Louie Louie. No, seriously. They just, used a, they just used a jazz standard as the track for the stage. And obviously, it's not exactly the same. It was an interpolation. It's in a new song that uses the same melody, but still, you get what I mean. And then, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Planet Wiss is in this one. 3DS version had Tropical Resort, which the entire idea of Sonic Colors is basically Eggman makes an interstellar amusement park and imprisons all the little Wiss fairy-like things. They're basically space fairies to power it and also take over the universe because he's always evil. So Planet Wisp is basically the only part of the game that isn't actually the amusement park, which is really funny. Because it means that it's, frankly, kind of unrepresentative. But those crystals over there were for the cyan laser. They'd bounce you off in directions. Because the original game, of course, had more versions of... You know, more wisps per stage, not just one per stage like they are in jams. So a lot of fun screen caps from the old games. But it starts with adventure, because... Well, I guess classic Sonic kind of had cutscenes, but also not really. Happy birthday, Sonic. Okay. As I was saying... Tropical Resort was basically the lobby area of the amusement park. Sun warns of a dangerous fall and... Oh, right, because, yep, this is them in white space. 3DS version has this cutscene, basically. It's just completely unvoiced, but the dialogue is all the same. Which is honestly really funny in retrospect. Shut up and keep looking. It'd be really funny if Eggman just got stuck here forever and that was the end of Eggman's involvement in the series. Obviously they didn't do that. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier. And it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. 
Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm going to dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that. Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Sounds like something I would say. Sonic. Oh, well then no. Uh, that doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. For what? That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. All right. Sonic Generation is all stage cleared. Got custom, custom skill, Super Sonic. Fun. Well. See the marking for that time eater stage then. Do you have that S rank, which is nice. I... That's some big noise. Now by the new school Time Break. Check out my stop whenever you can. I... I'm gonna say Time Eater here or something. Time Eater boss battle. I do not need to do that. I'm gonna check to see if it's got a title over this like the other... Boss stages. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? And I missed that again. Awesome. Okay. Is it going to say time meter? I do like it's still its own gear and wheel. I'm really committed to the motif. And I... Okay, come on. This is an epic, modern Sonic 2D platforming moment. Ha! 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 Actually, there's a who. Actually got that wrong. We're going to see a... title. This one going to go tragically untitled. I... Doesn't seem like it. But I miss because that platform placement is really annoying, honestly. Let's try one more time. One more time. It'd be really funny if it added the title and that let me get to something I couldn't before. I, I'm really praying for that. Otherwise, I'll have wasted my time actually three times. The one time before the fight. Okay. There is get over. Yep, it does not look like there's any big title saying Time Eater anyway. Anywhere. It would look kind of garish, but honestly, it'd be nice for consistency. Kind of feels like a cop. Okay, cool. I don't really need to go back there, do I? Not really. I just want to see... Perfect Chaos and... Did I still get an S rank for... Death Egg Robot? No! Okay. Hmm. Let's just do those last two boss battles. Let's S rank those boss battles and then I can... Probably just make sure that Shadow Generations will work next time I play the game. With my streamlabs, I'll probably hop off and get some sleep. I'm dying here. It's such a bad sign. Shadows of dark creatures. Steel clouds floating in the air. People run for shelter. What's gonna happen to us? Except we take all the moves and make all the big mistakes. It can't last when we are What can we do? You and I the same in the way that we are violent as a revenge. There's a fear of people in my mind, it's not there, there's no way I can lose. 
And holding on much longer. I have never let him go. I know it's a one way train. See how long this will last. I'm not gonna make this way. We have found on others. It's not as it is. I'm gonna do open door. I'm gonna be on the line. I feel like covering a Sonic song could be a fun idea. Go to this guitar and also. I do technically play guitar. And even without the boost, we can still hit the head, and now we just gotta do one last hit. Cool. Honestly, it's a honestly kind of an inspired choice that our music plays for the first part of the fight. And the boss's music plays for the second. Especially for Sonic being so shonen influenced. Because that's the opposite of how it always goes. Things are going badly, and then for the final hit, your theme music plays. But they didn't do it like that, and honestly, I respect it. Thank you. And I. Oh my goodness, I. That was really stupid! I gotta do that whole thing over again. That spring jump is legitimately one of my absolute enemies. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if I'd be able to go faster going down there. Seems to be some part I missed, maybe, if I'm reading it right. I'm not even sure. Okay. Here we are. Used a bit of the boost gauge for it. And it's not like we do any more damage by boosting when we hit. Just move through the body a little faster. If I, I'm pretty sure that in Sonic Adventure, the amount of damage you deal to perfect cast when you hit, its body is actually related to how fast you're moving through it. But it's not as if there's no HP bar here, so that can't make a difference here. It's interesting. Okay, and... More 2D. Awesome. Thank you. Don't know if that water would do damage to me, though. Come on. And uh, all right. Is annoying to miss. And... Goes on in. Hit. One more hit. Normal mode. And then it's scary mode. Well, I'm No, it's a runaway train. How long this will last? And I'm gonna make this work. We lock down on others. And I have a view. See where I got it through. Open. Yeah, I literally got screwed over right before the final hit. I do not want that to happen again. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. See how many platforms get destroyed. Let's go for that one, maybe. Come on, come on. And hit. Hit. Nice! Pretty good and fast, except I guess that break always happens. How sad. I... Oh, that was weird. And... Now it's over. Now it's all over. A little bit more patience carried the day. Thank you. But it is interesting that, and again, it might be because this is sort of a, but it's not a time duplicate in as much as just the real thing displacing time. The fact that Sonic can beat Perfect Chaos without super form, it's interesting. There we go, S rank on the fight. Let's go do Death Egg Robot, and then I'll test Shadow Gens a little bit. Then we'll actually start it next time. Exactly, if you eat normal gens, I'm gonna 100% shadow gens, then I'll hopefully come back to 100% normal gens. Oh, you can already do hard mode. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's do normal mode before hard mode then. Yo, I honestly wonder if you S rank a stage on hard mode. Is that? 
automatically do the S-Rank for normal mode too, or... It doesn't seem to be really a record spot. Maybe it's back at the start. Whatever. Okay. I'll look more into that. Let's watch the cutscene again. Sure. Me one elevator. I like how expressive the robot is. You wouldn't expect that from a robot, but... Well, maybe. Catch me if you can. We're not even chasing you down. Luckily, that's pretty well telegraphed. Okay. And... Thank you. Hit the booty. One more hit like that will do the trick. Thank you. Go ahead and... Out of the way of that. Do a little kick. That's okay. Which would change the direction to spin dash if we were spin dashing. Elevator's done and we move on to the observation deck. Thank you. Ooh, getting up is actually... How am I going to get up here? Wait, what? What even happened there? Huh? Oh, that... Stomp is what did it. It's honestly really strange. And... Thanks, I... Mmm, okay. Never mind. This is tough. And... And... Can I, there we are. That was a good spot to hit, too. Nice. Thank you. And I wouldn't be able to home in, right? Thanks, I... Oh, no. Messed up that timing, unfortunately, and... There we are. There we are, okay. And we'll... Oh, well, that was too much. Stupid. That homing attack is definitely how the fight should go. I... Never mind, okay. It... This fight basically needs homing attack. That's the unfortunate truth. And... Oh, nice, and can I... Get up here, or... Oh my... Oh my lord. And... There we go. Never... Oh, here we are. Nice. And... Can I... Finally! Okay. That should do it. When I do hard mode, I need that homing attack. It's just not gonna be doable without a homing attack on hard mode. At least for an S rank. Okay. At least we have those S ranks on normal mode for rival and boss battles now. Fun. Wait, what? Oh, you need a really tight time. That makes sense, but still. Yeah, that's not happening without homing. Okay, okay, okay. That is certainly something. Movies, Char Rescue, Art Music, Characters, there does not seem to be a stage record. Hmm. Statue Room? Didn't know there was a statue room. Ah. Eggman and... Oh, you got a lot of statues in here. Got a bunch of enemies, too. Huh. And... Ibuis Ibu Worm. I don't have descriptions, but it's a launcher, a fighter, arrow cannon, a chaser. Huh. Okay. And it doesn't even loop back. Okay. And there's no little space on the other side, so if you jump towards the spring, you just leave the room. Okay. Kind of wish there was extra space, just so that if you were trying to get on the other side, it wouldn't force you out. But I guess once you know what's there, it's more convenient to be able to hold left and still escape. Maybe. Yeah, there is no... ...record room, it seems. Interesting. Huh. Alright. I am going to... ...go back to the main menu and just see how Shadow Generations is going to work. It might be the same file as the title screen. 
it makes sense that they would sort of try to cut corners by making Sonic Generations just function as a scaled up version of the original Sonic Gen ZXE, but let's try this out. Shadow Story New Game. Shadow Story. Eh. No data. Fifty years. We'll watch that next time. Okay, so clearly, clearly. Yeah, but it's got a switch screen, so basically, you go see him. He disappeared temporarily. You go into Shadow Generations, which is just the game, but it also has an option to send you to normal Sonic Generations, which is actually separate. Ah, okay. That just directly quits it because it's still got the quit option from when it was just its own game. Well, we got... We at least beat Sonic Generations base game. Next time I play this, I guess we're going to be funny Shadow the Hedgehog. Thank you very much, yeah, Sonoragon.